Welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophia, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. Let's dive in. Today, we are going to talk about a side back way. It's subway in Chinese. And you can tell it's frenetic translation, side back way, right? And the most amazing part is I actually make the translation um, very relevant, easy to remember, makes sense to Chinese relevant to their brand because they are food brand and they're saying their taste can beat 100 different tastes. It's kind of arrogant, right? To say that they, they, they taste that good. They can beat any kind of taste. And 100 in Chinese, it, it also follows a Chinese tradition of how they use language. When we say 100, that means almost like a limited number of tastes. Okay, let's go one by one. Beat the side. It's made of this arch with a chimney on the top. That means a private space, right? And then you have this two horizontal line with one vertical line. That's an ancient tool to make sure you build your house perpendicular to the ground. That's red corner, red corner, right corner tool. And there are four of them. That means many, many, many of them. And then you have two first person perspective from the bottom of the screen, reaching to the, into the screen, kind of look like this, three finger hand symbol. So Chinese abstract our hands and it's from your first person. It's like a, you are doing this actually. Okay, and then the bottom is this uh, sphere with two horizontal lines with two dangly little fe feet. And that's Chinese money sign. <laughs> and it's made of seashell at some point, I guess, Chinese uh, currency was used as a uh, seashell and that lived on. So that becomes our equivalent of the English dollar sign. So when we see two hands bring money to something, right? So according to scholars, this originally is made of, um, I mean, to mean you're trying to block something. And this block at the bottom was use, using soil instead of using money, using soil symbol um, to mean your, your hand is working um, intensely to block. I, I would imagine probably it's a, you know, try to block a flood or something, natural disaster. And this four of them also mean you're kind of uh, filling up your private space with something. And in, in the original text, it would be with soil. So you're kind of blocking yourself um, from natural disaster, supposedly. So now uh, we switch out this soil symbol to the money sign. <laughs> that, according to some scholars, uh, is trying uh, is humans' endeavor to almost bribe the divinity to you know give them what's precious to them, money, to try to block something, and so that they can win this battle. So you can view it in a context with the humans against nature. So they are trying to bribe nature, <laughs> supposedly hire a uh, designer of nature to give them favorable environments so that they can beat or block out what's whatever natural disaster coming at them. So that's the context of a beat. And 100 is made of this um, sun ray pointing toward the skyline. So if you see Chinese, one top horizontal line on top of the frame, that means heaven, <laughs> the upper limit visually uh, to our vision. So this heaven, and then we have this uh, spherical thing. I mean, originally it's a spherical, but somebody stylized it almost like a mouse symbol. But this is um, a block of something, right? With energy in it. And then it has this pointy thing going outward. It's a sun ray. So originally this is Chinese character by white color and Chinese use the sun ray coming from the sun uh, to, of course, uh, to mean the color white. And now it's pointing toward the heaven. And why is 100? It's hard to say why, but I'm guessing because sun ray coming from all directions, right? And just pointing toward the heavenly side, uh, uh, the Chinese probably would envision that's hundreds, hundreds of arrows at 100 in ancient concept is a huge number. Normally in agrarian society, their concept of unit of measurement, mostly up to 20. So that's 10, 10, add up together. That's 20, that's already a lot for them. Probably when they are measuring their crops, that's 20, it's like a max out uh, the, the measurement of sticks, right? But when it comes to 100, that means almost like hard to imagine back then. So the sun rays could be used to mean a lot of them. 
wait, simply with the mouth symbol, kind of a smiley face, and then with this tree, ripening tree. So this ripening tree have this canopy double layered. In a regular tree icon, we just have a single layer of this upward turning convex shape. And then when it's double layers, it means it's, it's um, full, fully grown tree. So mouse next to this fully grown tree means you are tasting uh, whatever the tree is producing, a mature tree is producing, and that's how we define taste. So Sai Bai Wei, again, it's a great translation for a foreign brand. That's a frenetic translation, Sai Bai Wei. So for is a foreign, for its international corporations, when we hear Sai Bai Wei, well, it can, you know, go directly there. It sounds like Subway, but to Chinese ears, it also is relevant to their brand. It's about good taste that it can beat infinite uh, number of tastes. So I would give them like a, you know, highest rank of translation as a foreign food brand. There you go. Thank you for your time. See you